Hello, today we're going to be taking a look at the scientific evidence on how cabbage fights cancer. Cabbage is a cruciferous vegetable, part of a family that includes broccoli, kale, cauliflower, bok choy, and Brussels sprouts. Wild cabbage, from which all other cabbage varieties originate, is native to the Mediterranean and was domesticated nearly 2,500 years ago. It grew in popularity across northern Europe for its ability to grow and store well in cool climates. Red cabbage contains an impressive amount of nutrients and is low in calories. Cancer is a disease in which some of the body cells grow uncontrollably and spread to other parts of the body. It's a complex process and certain compounds in our foods can inhibit this uncontrollable growth or even kill the cancer cells. Cabbage contains powerful antioxidants and has an anti-inflammatory effect. It also contains sulforaphane, a sulfur-rich compound that forms when raw cabbage is cut or crushed that has an anti-cancer effect. In a meta-analysis of observational studies published in 2013, researchers found that there was an inverse association between cruciferous vegetables and colon cancer. In a 2017 case control study published in the Current Developments in Nutrition, researchers found an inverse association between cruciferous vegetable consumption and breast cancer. In a 2018 article, researchers looked at the chemopreventive activity of sulforaphane. They found that the compound exerts anti-cancer activities through multiple ways, including anti-inflammatory activity, cell cycle arrest, and the induction of apoptosis. This research may provide a basis for the clinical use of sulforaphane for cancer chemoprevention and lead to designing preventive strategies for cancer management, reduce cancer development and recurrence, and improve patient survival. In an interesting look at populations, Lenore Kohlmeyer, a University of North Carolina epidemiologist, studied the data on cancer rates between East and West Germany just after unification. She was fully expecting cancer rates in West Germany to be lower. After all, they had better nutrition and lower obesity rates. Instead, she found that people in East Germany had significantly fewer cancers. Digging further, Kohlmeier discovered a 40-fold difference in cabbage consumption between the East and the West. In studying the compounds in cabbage, Kohlmeier found that the isothiocyanates in cabbage serves to detoxify by eliminating carcinogens in the liver. Sulforaphane is one of these compounds. In a 2020 comparative study, in vitro studies show that the juice of young shoots of red cabbage effectively reduce the proliferation of prostate cancer cells. As early as 1983, researchers were looking into the effect of cabbage on cancer. This study found the potential of cabbage to inhibit the development of tumors. In a 2008 article, researchers found that anthocyanins in cruciferous vegetables has cancer chemopreventive activities, Based on in vitro studies, researchers found that anthocyanins has the ability to scavenge free radicals, 
they stimulated detoxifying enzymes, reduced cell proliferation, reduced inflammation, and induced apoptosis of cancer cells. However, researchers were also careful to indicate that their study did not prove these effects in epidemiological studies of humans. Therefore, more human studies were needed. In a 2019 article published in the journal Science, researchers note that indole-3-carbonyl, a compound found in cruciferous vegetables, is a natural and potent inhibitor of tumors. A compound found in cabbage and other cruciferous vegetables known as DIM has been shown to increase short-term survival rates in some animal studies on radiation. This study showed that there's hope for using DIM as a shield to protect healthy tissues during cancer treatment in the future. In a 2015 study, researchers have discovered that sulforaphane has the power to inhibit the harmful enzyme HDAC known to be involved in the progression of cancer cells. The ability to stop HDAC enzymes could make sulforaphane-containing foods a potentially powerful part of cancer treatment. With so much evidence for the protective effects of cabbage against cancer, it's a good idea to incorporate it into our diet. The National Cancer Institute recommends five to nine servings of vegetables and fruits per day. The USDA recommends one and a half to two and a half cups of cruciferous vegetables per week to slow down aging and lower the risk of disease. Hope you found the information in this video useful. Please give us a thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you.